Morning with Crystal. So today's unboxing is Stitch Fix for April 2022. Stitch Fix is like a personal stylist in a box. So I'm going to explain how it all works. I'm going to unbox the items I've been sent and I'm going to try everything on for you. So stick with me if you want to see that. So Stitch Fix, like I said, it's a little bit like a personal stylist in a box. You set up an online account, you upload pictures either of yourself or of items that you like, you basically set all of the parameters for the personal shopper, so obviously you share all the sizes, you tell them the sorts of items you do and don't like wearing, give them your measurements, say how much you want to spend on certain items and then when you actually want a box you can either have it on a subscription basis where it regularly comes every couple of months or do what I do and just order the box when you want it. You go online and you say okay these are the items I'm shopping for or this is the event I'm shopping for. The personal stylist will select five items for you and send them out to you. The cost of the service is £10 but if you're new to Stitch Fix you can get £15 credit which will mean your first box will be free and if you keep anything £15 is deductible on anything you keep. If you continue after that and order another box it will cost you £10 but if you keep anything the £10 is redeemable. You don't get charged for any of the clothes in the box until you go through an online checkout process. So you get the items, you're usually given a week but you can extend it a lot longer if you want to in your online account. Where you go online you say I'm keeping this, I'm sending these back. If you send everything back there's no additional charge. If you are keeping anything they obviously at that point charge you for anything you keep, deducting the style fee, the £10 you've paid or not if it's your first box you won't have paid you'll just get uh, the £15 credit notes off and you won't pay the styling fee. So they also have a new feature called Fix Preview which means that around about seven to ten days before your fix is due to arrive they'll send you an email and if you want to and you don't have to you can go online and you can look at ten items and you can select up to five items from those ten or you can decline them all that's up to you. So I'm going to tell you what I asked for, I will show you the 10 items that I was shown um, and then we'll see what I actually have in the box right here. So I said I'm shopping for spring outfits that I can wear to the office, kind of smart casual sort of style. I'm especially looking for trousers that are versatile and can be worn with a number of different tops just because I've got lots of tops and not enough pairs of trousers to wear them with. And then I've also said that I also need shoes to wear with the trousers and dresses. Low block heels are okay, nothing too high. I value comfort and I've put all flats. I'd also ideally like a knee length or just above dress. Cotton preferred, no polyester. I do not like polyester. Ideally I'd like a complete outfit or two. And then I've also linked a Pinterest board and I can tell that the stylist looks at my Pinterest board because the items sometimes are the exact items I've linked on the Pinterest board or very, very similar ones. So here are the 10 items I got to choose from and some of them I accepted, some of them I rejected for various different reasons. you will also get a returns label so if you do want to return anything that's included in the cost of the style fee if you don't want to return anything you just obviously don't return it they also have a great price match service so if you see any of the items in your box cheaper online within seven days of your box arriving you can let them know and they'll price match if you keep all five items you get 20% off everything in the box and if you need to exchange sizes that's all free and quick and yeah it's great so this is my 22nd box which is alarming to say the least. So here is my style note. Hi Crystal, how are you today? I'm glad to be styling you again and to see you selected three pieces from your preview. I see none of the trousers were what you're looking for and the loafers look too chunky and that you'd still like to try a pair of work appropriate shoes. Unfortunately we didn't have any shoes available which matched your preferences. However, as you like the style of the Maruti trainers before, love them, wear them all the time, I've added another pair with a smarter look and real leather as you prefer that I thought would be a nice alternative to wear to work. What do you think about them? As you'd also like other trousers, I've included the Jules trousers that you could wear with the Maruti trainers, the cute Maison La Broche tee and your black leather jacket for a smart casual look. Or wear one of the dresses with the trainers and your jacket. Best martyr. 
You also get an invoice that tells you how much each individual item would cost, how much it would cost if you kept everything, what the deduction would be if you got the 20% discount for keeping everything, um, and all that information. So, this is quite a pricey fix, but I have set the prices that I get, so I'm happy with that. You can get much more affordable pieces, depends how much you want to spend. I'm trying to only get pieces that I know I'm going to love and wear forever, um, so I'm happy to pay a bit more for them. But obviously, it's a personal preference how much you want to spend on things, and Stitch Fix are pretty good at sticking within the limits you set as well. So, let's have a look at the items that I've been sent. So this is the t-shirt that I agreed to try from my... Um, preview. It's expensive but it is organic cotton, it feels lovely and it just has this really nice pretty stitching in a light kind of pink that says good vibe and it's by Maison La Briche. It's in navy and it's a classic tea good vibe global organic textile standard and it's in a size small and the t-shirt is £60 so pretty expensive but like I said if it's something that I'm going to wear over and over again then it's probably worth it to have like one t-shirt I just love. So I like the fact that it's got this kind of folded detail there on the sleeve and it's got like a round neck. So everything about it like that I like. Love, love, love. Navy. Like I said, it's 100% organic cotton. So looks good, but £60 is a lot for a t-shirt so I'd have to love it. So we will see when I try that on in just a moment. Next up we've got a dress from Hobbs like the design and this like greeny colour. I think this is one of the ones I selected from the preview. So it's got like a round neck but it's not high but it's not low either. It's got a zip down the back and the sleeves seem to be kind of three quarter length with a little bit of a almost cuff detail but it buttons as well. It looks like it's going to be longer than knee length which might be a little bit longer than I want but we'll see what it looks like when it's on. This is from Hobbs in a size 8. It's 96% viscose, 4% rayon. It's called the Indie Jersey Dress and it's £89. So again, quite a pricey one, so I'd have to really like it, but we will see what it looks like when it's on. You'll obviously see all this in a lot better detail when you see me try it on rather than me just showing it you on the camera. Then we have got this dress, which is by Selected Femme, which I haven't heard of this brand before. It's the Sephora shirt dress in dark sapphire flower and it retails at £75. It's kind of like a shirt style dress so it's got that shirt collar on it then it buttons up on the front and it looks around about knee length maybe slightly above and it also has this little tie detail that goes around it. Again it's going to be a lot more obvious what it looks like when I actually try it on. It's in a 36 which I think like um, European sizing or something. They'll just choose whichever size appears to be best with the measurements and things you've given them but like I said you can always exchange it if the size isn't right as well. I'm not sure about the feel of this fabric actually so it is 100% viscose. I don't kind of feel like viscose is the nicest fabric do you know what I mean like it doesn't feel like a quality fabric for the price point but again we will see what it's like when it's on. Then we've got some trousers from Jewels. And these are called the Hepworth Stretch Trousers. It says, hidden side zip, high-waisted, sculpted slim fit, by stretch fabric, lifts and shapes. And pocket-wise, it hasn't really got pockets as such other than this little one on the back. Um, and little Jules logo there. And it's got no kind of front zip or anything. It is just that hidden zip at the side. And they look like they're quite a slim fit. I'm just slightly worried about the length because I suspect these might be too long for me. So they are like an elasticated waist, so they do look like they should be a good fit. The 49.95, and they call the Hepworth pull-on stretch trouser. They're in navy in a size eight. So we will try those. Ooh, I've just noticed a discrepancy on the label. It says a 49.95, but on my invoice it says a 59.95, which is a European price. So I'll have to query that if I am keeping them because. I'm this should be 49.95. I'm sure they'll sort it. They're pretty good at that kind of thing. And then finally, some shoes that say Stitch Fix on this cute little zip-up bag. So they are black leather trainers. Don't know if I get away with these for work because they are quite obviously a trainer and not like a smart work shoe, especially with these laces, which are like black with kind of metallic 
sort of stitching through it. I'm not sure about that. This is what they look like underneath. I have got some Maruti trainers. You'll have seen them in a number of my videos that I got in a previous Stitch Fix box. They're like black and white sort of fabric trainers. I absolutely love them, wear them to death. Similar to this on the back here, which is like this sort of, I don't know, it feels like it's like a faux pony fur type fabric. Um, yeah. So the only thing I'm not sure about really with these trainers, like I said, is that stitching on there but we'll see what they look like when they're on. Sometimes they come with like an additional pair of laces. I'm sure my other Maruta trainers came with an additional, ah yes, we have got some plain black laces. So with plain black laces, they're probably a little less obvious than the trainers, if you know what I mean. But we'll see like what they're like when they're on. Like I said, super expensive, but really like Maruta trainers. I have got, like I said, the other pair and I wore them around London the other weekend and we did like, at least 10,000 steps a day if not more on most days and my feet were just so comfy which is just so important when you're walking a lot isn't it so definitely rate Maruti I've never tried any of their trainers before Stitch Fix so I'm super glad I discovered them because they're just brilliant but they are very expensive so these trainers retail at 119.99 so they're pretty expensive they're in a black size 5 obviously my size so the total cost of everything on here would be it says £403.94 but I think it'd be £10 less to think they price those jewels trousers slightly incorrectly if I kept everything I'd get a discount of £80.79 that's the 20% saving which would mean that at least one of the items is free if you work it out like that um and then obviously they deduct the £10 styling charge that I have paid and any credit and things I've got on the account. If you do use my link to sign up to get your £15 credit or $25 if you're in the US, then I will get the same back in credit for my account, which will help me to keep making these videos and obviously I really appreciate it. So I think I've got a little bit of credit on the account right now, so I might just treat myself, but we'll obviously see what everything looks like when it's on. Let's go try on some clothes. So this leather jacket is actually my own. It's by All Saints. It's a Balthorn jacket. I'm just trying it on over the t-shirt as recommended by the stylist. So of course, this is the Maison La Broche classic t-shirt and it's £60. And these are the trousers by Jewels, which are £50 or £49.95. And I've got them on, of course, with those Maruti Claire leather lace-up trainers, which are 119 99 so this is kind of what the outfit looks like together. The only concern I've really got with these trousers is they are a little bit long for me on the ankle. What do you think? And this is the Hobbs Indie Jersey dress, size 8, £89. So I really like the colour. I like the top and the shape at the top of the dress. But I do think it makes me look a little bit wider than I usually would look on the hips. What do you think? I just don't think this is a flattering shape on me at all. I also think it's too long. It's below the knee length, which is not something I'd normally go for. So this is the dress by Selected Femme, the Fiola shirt dress in a size 36. It's £75. I mean, I think it's okay. It's just the fabric for me, like I said, does not feel high quality. I'm looking for pockets here. As you can see, there are not any. I do like a good pocket. Let me know what you think on this dress. Okay, so we've tried everything on. Let me know in the comments what you think I should keep and send back. And I'll let you know my comments so far. Okay, so... Like I said before, there's five items. If I kept everything, the subtotal would be £403.94. I'd get a discount of 20%, which would be £80.79, bringing my subtotal down to 323.15. And I'd then get a £10 deduction style charge, which would then bring it down to 313.15, if that makes sense. So anyway, let's see. The trainers. So I do actually like these more than I thought I would when I had them on. Ridiculously comfortable. Not sure if I'd get away with them for work. So that's a bit of a consideration. But I actually really like them. And I think they'll be probably more work appropriate with the plain black laces instead of these like sparkly ones. But I actually do like them. So at the moment I'm thinking I will probably keep these. The Jules trousers, I actually quite liked these on and I liked the fit and they were surprisingly quite comfortable. The only issue with these is that the length, they're a little bit long for me in the leg and hopefully you saw that because I did like zoom in and you could see they were like bunched up a little bit at the bottom but I do like them so I'm like do I send them back, do I not? I don't know and they don't come in different leg lengths, it is this or nothing. So I'm going to have to try and decide, like I said please let me know what you think. 
I actually did quite like the t-shirt, especially with those trousers and the trainers and the leather jacket, which is my leather jacket. It's an All Saints one I've had for a few years. So I actually did like it. I don't know again if I'd get away with it for work, but I actually did like it, but it's 60 pounds. So I'm still a little bit like, what do we think? Was the fit nice? I'm not asking if it's worth 60 pounds, six pounds a lot for a t-shirt, but did it look nice? What do you think? I was a little bit disappointed with the dresses. So the first, so this dress was my favorite in terms of design and the way it looked on. I think this one looks better on me than the other one, but I'm not a massive fan of this fabric. So it's not polyester, it's viscose, which is a partially man-made, partially natural fiber, I believe, but I just don't particularly like the feel of it. And like I said, I'm trying to buy pieces that I will buy and like love forever, not stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of in a year or two. So I think I'm going to send it back because I just couldn't get on with this fabric. So just a quick reminder, this was a selected femme Fiola shirt dress in navy, £75. So that leaves us with a Hobbs dress. So I do like the colour and things and it feels better quality than the selected femme dress. My issue with this, it's too long. I generally don't particularly like dresses that go too far below the knee like this does and I also felt like it made me look extra wide and hippy it made my hips look wider than they would normally look which wasn't flattering either so that was another reason why I just don't think this dress is for me so this is the Hobbs Indie jersey dress navy size 8 89 pounds so I think that'll be going back so at the moment the two dresses I think are definitely going back I'm thinking of keeping the trainers and I'm on the fence with the t-shirt and trousers. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, please. Like I said, if you are new to Stitch Fix, I'll put a link and discount code underneath. You can get £15 free credit or $25 if you're in the US, if you use that link to sign up. And I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.